guys and welcome back to Kingdom Impact. My name is Erin and this video is going to be about self-love. So in this video I'm going to be um, speaking about self-love and I'm going to be using examples that are more related to me, well things that I have been through and things that I've seen as well. Um, so if I were you, get myself a nice little snack, a nice little drink, sit down, relax and let's get it cracking. Okay, so let's just start with the dictionary definition of self-love and it defines self-love as regard for one's own well-being and happiness so as soon as you hear those words well-being and happiness and obviously your own it already shows you that it has to do with your own development the way you grow as a person so um in terms of that as well if you love yourself you're going to be able to show other people more love not the kind of fake love that normally people show but the kind of love that you you'll give to other people really from the heart so um let me start with myself um back in the day i used to get bullied yes me little old me i used to get bullied and um they used to say certain things that were obviously hurtful and made me self-conscious about myself as well as yeah so things like that obviously if you get bullied um although people see it as maybe as banter or they see it as just the way they do things or showing you that they like you by doing that it kind of brings your self-esteem down so they used to tell me that i had big lips called me fish lips um they used to say they used to not like me because i was african or well, I was from Ghana, and they used to tell me that I was um, that I smelled like a fish. Um, um, so the fish team was really, really in there, and um, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't really belong much in any particular group, even though I tried to um, make myself fit in. I didn't, I didn't necessarily fit in with those type of people especially because I was um tall as a as a young girl as well um yeah I was taller I was dark and under rest and yeah that kind of made me the outcast and for somebody so young and being well being who I am I wanted to fit in so much that I tried to change myself and that's where my story kind of begins that the story of somebody that is trying to fit in so much that she refuses to be the person that she actually is the person that she's at home the person she's with friends and family or mainly mainly family like you'll you'll start acting different and that's what happened to me as well so growing up i was re very much somebody who i really actually wasn't um i would so allow things that i wouldn't if anyone else if it was anyone else i wouldn't allow because i wanted the, I, would, I wanted them to accept me so much um so in terms of that i used to like hide my mouth uh whilst laughing whilst talking my hand would be covering my mouth because i didn't want anyone to see how big of how big my lips were i didn't want anyone to see me smiling and tell me that my smile was wide um i didn't want anyone to say anything neg well anything that they felt like was okay to tell me but obviously um was really made me really self-conscious so um in terms of that i used to hide my lips and um as i was growing older people would be like why do you always hide behind your mouth why are you laughing and covering your mouth and i didn't have an explanation um for it um i would literally stand in the mirror and try and make my lips look smaller by the way i laugh and that even um by doing that i even um I even found out oh, that I could use my lips for like weird things like I could put my, my mouth in in weird shapes um, which I do now just to um, laugh around but back in the day obviously it used to be more of a um, self-conscious thing it used to be something that I did so that nobody would um, comment on my lips or so that I could laugh on my lips my, myself so um, obviously being that type of that type of girl um, and hiding myself I eventually grew and um, as I was growing I eventually understood that this is just the way I look I have big lips I have a nose I have eyes and I have ears and everybody looks different and I came to understand that some people are just darker and some people are just lighter and 
um I need to accept myself for who I am so I would want to be either darker or I would um, want to be um, lighter so I fit in with the two groups that were there um so um growing up that was one of the things and I, I've seen that I've seen that quite often that other people being bullied for small things like maybe their nose or their eyes or their hair or where they're from because I was African as well obviously they they used to and Ghanaian they used to say things about me um even though there were other Africans there I felt um as I started growing up the more African people came obviously and more Ghanaian people came to the school and obviously that made it much better but obviously because I had been bullied for from so young that it it was so in my mind that okay being African is bad and I want to be someone else and all of this all of that um and that obviously affected that obviously affects a young girl as I'm growing in God and I'm growing in Christ as well I've learned that if I don't love myself nobody else is going to love me and I've noticed that as well in relationships and this is not even romantic relationships in relationship with my friends so if I felt if I felt like oh this person doesn't like me I would be quiet and kind of shy away because okay I feel like they don't like me if I don't love myself and if I don't like myself how is somebody else going to like me how do I if I don't have a character or um, show who I how who I am how are they going to get to know me so that's that's kind of where the self-love comes into you and how obviously um regarding my own well-being and regarding my own happiness comes into play this is in matthew 22 37 to 39 i'm going to read it out it says um it says you shall love the you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind this is the first and this is the first and great command commandment and the second commandment is like it's like it you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself on these two com commandments hang all the law of the prophets and you you need to love yourself so that you can accept god's love as well like accept accepting somebody else's love is so hard if you don't love yourself if you don't like yourself so then eventually obviously in um th in 39 it says and the second command commandment is like it you shall love your you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself but if you don't love yourself how, how are you supposed to love your neighbor because you're not so showing yourself love so you, you're not going to show them love it's in little things that people notice as well it's in in because obviously the big things um show people that you care but showing that somebody that you love is like calling them once in a while and seeing how how they are but you if you don't love yourself calling them you're not calling them to see how they are you're just calling for company and and not to be lonely it's the same thing in relationships as well if you don't love yourself you're going to be looking for the wrong kind of company and the wrong the wrong kind of people in terms of um if even if it's a romantic relationship or relationship with your friends and family or if you don't trust people as well it, oh if it, obviously don't lay your trust in people but lay your trust in god but you need to trust people to a certain extent kind of embrace who they are the way they are by not wanting to change yourself to be like them and not wanting to change them to be like you if that makes sense but if because the person has done it to you you're thinking like how could i afterwards you be thinking like how could i even have let this person do this to me mainly because you didn't love yourself you didn't like yourself and you thought if you l allow this person to do this to me if i allow this person to talk back at me if i allow this person to be snappy at me um it i'll it maybe the person will like me or maybe the person will will say something that i don't like and or maybe the person will leave me because that's the that's the thing that's the thing that we have if we don't love ourselves and if we don't like ourselves we don't have a god and we don't have um we don't have a god for ourselves we don't have happiness in ourselves so being alone is so so hard for us so we go into the wrong relationship as i said early, earlier as well it's like having bad friends that um influence you instead of you being the one influencing them to follow christ the one to influence them not to do the bad thing that they're about to do do you get what i mean it's like in first time it says blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the path of sinners nor sits in the seat of the, the scorn literally the beginning of psalm is even saying like if you love yourself you're not going to be saying sitting a circle of people that do not follow the same beliefs as you because you know what kind of people you want to be with and you know what kind of people to surround yourself with so therefore you're going to be following 
other things and that's how that's what i've been learning recently as well i need to not be in certain relationships i need to not be in certain kind of friendship groups because even though they say things they don't they say things and not and don't follow through so if you're going to be someone and that, that is going to say like oh i'm going to be doing this i'm going to be doing that and don't follow through well, i can be your friend because you don't follow through in your word and i'm kind of i'm the kind of person that follows through in, through in my word and if i'm not the kind of person that follow through in my follows through in my word i want to be with people that follow follow through in their word so i can learn from them if that makes sense you need to be able to love yourself you need to be able to love the people around you so loving yourself helps you love people around you and loving yourself helps helps you accept the love god has for you and go, actually going to god to ask for things going to god to relay um to relay whatever that's on your heart to him being the comfort of your own atmosphere in your, in your own in your own company and talking to god and telling god like oh god this is what i want to do can you help me all in all self-love is having regard for yourself is knowing who you are and accepting who you are as well if you are like me and um, people have bullied you and you are insecure about certain things um, self-love is is believing in yourself and having belief in the word of god and have belief in god as well so if you believe in god all things are possible through him and if all things are possible through through god what do you, what are you missing nothing absolutely nothing that's the end of this video i hope it helped you out and i hope that um if you are struggling with self-love that you will open the bible read the bible and accept what god is giving to you certain things that i do that help me um to help me with with growing and loving myself and walking the path because it's a it's it's a it's a journey that you're on and that's the journey you're on with me as well um in terms of self-love i listen to motivational speakers i'll name some in the description box below i listen to um preachings that um obviously help me grow as well and i read my bible and i pray prayer is the key in this uh in everything really prayer is actually the key and in this particular one if you pray god is going to help you to actually achieve the goal that you have if this is a goal that you have for 2018 it will definitely help you as well in terms of loving yourself and relaying that love back to other people and in growing in christ um so yeah, I hope it helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, give it a thumbs up. Um, like, comment and subscribe to my channel please. And yeah, comment down below. It's, it's nice. See you guys later. Bye.